Fitness has always been uh, one of my things, you know. Uh, as a ball player, I would never have that much skill, but my fitness always carried me there. The club was very good to me in a lot of ways down through the years of playing. So when I retired from football, I felt, you know, it's only right that they give something back. We knew other clubs were doing it, but they were doing it in a different kind of format where they were working with four or five individuals. But we felt that it'd be better if we got, the, you know, the whole community involved. Up until 2003, we would have been the most successful club in County Monaghan. We had won 37 senior championships. We still only have 37 senior championships, which is a bugbear. We stopped winning in 2003 at senior level. And I suppose when you stop winning, you start to look at stuff around you. And we had probably become very complacent because we had been winning. You were either fog or you weren't fog. I, you played football or you didn't. If you didn't, you had no place being here. The executive sat down in 2008 and they formulated a five-year plan. And I suppose the club changed direction from there. New people got invited on to the executive. Everybody was welcome and we kind of asked people to come forward with ideas of programmes we could put in place to kind of open up the club to the, everybody in the community, not just Fogs people. And it was from there that Operation Transformation was born. Operation Transformation runs for 12 weeks and what we do is we have one class on a Tuesday night which is always circuits but then on a Friday night we approached um, 12 different people so they would run a different class over the 12 weeks and as a result then everybody gets a feeler for what kind of exercises are out there. On Sunday mornings we do a Couch to 5k program so people that have never run before will get a taste of what it's like to run. And it all ends then usually the first Sunday in December with a 5k run. Well, the tagline to the Operation Transformation yeah. is a fun way to a healthier yeah. lifestyle. And everybody would say, you know, if you haven't a smile on your face, then we're not Something's doing it properly. Wrong. Yeah. We have a couple of 70 year olds taking part in the circuit classes. They just love it, they thrive. From when I was carried into Croke Park at, uh, I think it was nine years of age, to see Derry playing Dublin and All Ireland final way back in the 50s uh, by my uncle to stand onto the music stand to the present day. I have lived year in, year out for the GA programme to take place. All ages are involved in this. This involves not just people to play the game, it involves people to be actively involved in the club and in the life of the club and the, the whole spirit of the club. I came to Castle Blinney 32 years ago and I'm from a large family from Katie, County Armagh. No direct involvement really with the GA and no involvement since I came to Castle Blaney until now. It's been great for my head just to get out, mm. you know, because if you're at home with two babies all day, it's just to get that hour out. And even though it's exercise, it's brilliant. You know, like it's just, it's great for the head. Yeah. For me, it's been great for my figure. <laughs> <laughs> and when I go home in the evenings, I have, I live on my own now for all my family have grown up and I'm at home from work at about half past five and long dark evenings. So this gave me a momentum. You know, I had something to do in the evenings, shortens the week. When I went along that first week and people there were saying, you will do a run at the end of the 12 weeks. And I thought, well, I'll not be running, I'll be walking. I didn't think I'd be, I'd be fit to do, to do a 5K run. Pace at the start was very fast. Uh, all those extra runners that, that, are, that come on a day like this uh, set off on a ferocious pace. And uh, you were kind of hypnotised into going with it, you know, and, and all of a sudden you were saying, what's wrong with me? And the air's running out of me, you know. So I gradually got my rhythm and it was tough, but it was good. I feel great now. Today was the icing on the cake for everybody. We had over 800 people registered to do the run and for the 260 people that took part in Operation Transformation, it was their final hurdle. For the club, it's an unbelievable day. To have that many people, over 800 people register for a run that we're hosting is just unbelievable. Um, things just seem to be coming together for the club, both off the field and on the field. Hopefully we'll be back 
bigger than better than ever and we'll have a championship and a final or a league final next year. So um watch this. Yeah, it's just been brilliant. It's just been brilliant. All age groups, from young right up until old. We've had such a selection of people here, youngsters from our national school, vice national school, right up to people in their 70s and their 80s. It's powerful. That's community spirit, and that's what we've got in Castleberry. Well, brilliant! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 Castleberry has a town has never been fitter.